Have you ever crumpled a piece of paper or watched an ice cube melt on a hot day? These everyday actions are examples of physical changes in matter. Welcome back everyone, Sir Z here and let's talk about science. In today's video we're going to explore what physical changes are, how they happen, and how you can observe them at home. Physical changes in matter. So, what exactly is a physical change? Simply put, a physical change is when matter changes its form or appearance but the substance itself stays the same. Although they look different after changing, they are still the same material with the same composition. This includes physical changes that involve the changing of their state, like solids turning into liquid when they melt or get dissolved by another substance, or when liquid changes to gas through the process of evaporation when heat is applied. These changes are usually easy to reverse meaning they can be returned to their original form because there is no chemical reaction nor chemical change involved. The key thing to remember is that the material doesn't change, they only change in the way they look or feel. Examples of physical changes Let's go through some everyday actions that lead to physical changes. You've probably done most of these but now you'll understand the science behind them. First up, tearing paper. When you tear a piece of paper you change its size and shape but it's still paper. This is a great example of a physical change. The paper changes its appearance but it is still paper. Cutting wood is another good example. When you cut a piece of wood you change its size and shape but the wood remains the same material, it's still wood just in smaller pieces. Folding clothes is another example of a physical change. When you fold a shirt or a towel you're changing its shape but the material remains the same, the shirt is still a shirt, and nothing about the fabric changes. This is a reversible physical change because you can unfold the clothes and they'll return to their original shape. Stretching a rubber band changes its shape but it's still made of rubber, another example of physical change. When you bend a metal wire you're changing its shape but it remains the same material. The shape or form was changed but the material is still the same metal wire. Breaking is another example of a physical change. When you break a stick or shatter glass, you change the size and shape of the object, but it remains the same material. Even though it's in smaller pieces, the material itself has not transformed into something else. Boiling is the process where a liquid turns into gas. When water is heated and begins to boil, it changes from a liquid to steam. This is a physical change because even though the water changes its state from liquid to gas, it's still water in its chemical makeup. You can condense the steam back into liquid water, making this a reversible process. Freezing is when a liquid turns into a solid. By freezing water into ice, you change its state from liquid to solid, but it's still water. The physical form changes, but the material stays the same. When ice melts, it changes from a solid to a liquid, but it's still water. You can bring it back to its original state by freezing the water again. Dissolving is a physical change where a solid mixes with a liquid to form a solution. For example, when you dissolve salt in water, the salt seems to disappear, but it's still present in the water. This change is physical because you can evaporate the water and recover the salt, showing that the material hasn't changed chemically. Ever colored a piece of paper? Adding color to a material is another physical change because you're changing its appearance but without changing the material. The paper or fabric you applied color to doesn't change. It's still the same paper or the same fabric but now with a different color. Crushing an aluminum can flattens it, changing its shape but the material is still aluminum. Let's take a quick look at the different examples of processes we've just covered in this video that are involved or will result in physical changes in matter. Let's read each of them together. Tearing Cutting Folding Stretching Bending Breaking Boiling Freezing Melting Dissolving Coloring And crushing Perform your own physical changes. Now that we've talked about physical changes, let's look at a few simple activities you can try at home. Activity 1. Freezing and Melting what you'll need, ice cubes and a bowl. What to do, take an ice cube out of the freezer and leave it in a bowl at room temperature. Watch as it melts from solid to liquid. Then put the liquid back into the freezer and observe it turn back into ice. Question, how long did it take for the ice to melt? Did the amount of water change after the ice melted? What happens when you put the liquid back into the freezer? Activity two, cutting or folding paper. 
What you'll need, a piece of paper and scissors. What to do, fold the paper or cut it into different shapes. Observe how the form changes. Questions to answer. Does cutting the paper change what it's made of? Can you reverse this change by putting the pieces back together? And how does folding change the shape of the paper? Activity 3. Boiling water and observing steam. What you'll need, a pot of water and a stove with adult supervision if needed. What to do? Heat the water in the pot until it starts boiling and releasing steam. Observe the change from liquid to gas or steam. Alright, let's dive into some questions to ponder. What happens to the water when it starts to boil? Can you see where the water goes when it turns into steam? Is this change reversible? And how could you turn steam back into water? Now let's see if you can answer a few questions to test what you've learned. Is boiling water a physical change? Why or why not? When you bend a metal wire, is it still the same material? What physical change happens when you melt ice? Can you reverse the process of tearing paper? Why? How is coloring a piece of paper an example of a physical change? That's all for today's video on physical changes in matter. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's keep this journey going and learning science together. As always, this is Sir Z of Classy Edits. Stay creative, keep on exploring, and I will see you in the next one.